What's up everybody? Welcome back. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out. EMT here and in this video we're elevating our macro photography game on smartphones with the brand new Sandmark microscope lens. So I've been sitting on this lens for a couple of months and I've taken with me on multiple trips to try to capture different objects and different environments from the snow to everyday items that we may have laying around. And not gonna lie, I was confused, followed by very, very impressed. The Sandmark microscope lens will start at $129.99 and the reason why I was a little confused is because once I opened the included case, I actually encountered this uh, USB type C to USB cable. And I was like, wait a minute, why would they send me a cable? I was a little confused, all right, cool. But upon further investigation, the lens actually has a USB type C port because this microscope lens actually has a built-in light. The package also includes an iPhone case of your choice, a clip-on mount, which allows you to use it without a case and or with different smartphones. It includes a lens pouch and front and back caps. Now a challenge in macro photography is often lighting. I have actually encountered this myself, not only with my iPhone, but also with my 100 millimeter macro lens for my Canon camera. If I don't have an intense lighting source or reposition the object in order to take advantage of the environmental light, my own shadow or the shadow of the lens or the phone may actually interfere with me being able to capture as much detail as I can because we're getting super, super close to our subjects. So this automatically removes the need for me to carry an additional light source. You also have two levels of brightness just by simply pressing the button on the top of the lens. You actually can go from very intense to not so intense. It allows you to not only bring more detail of the subject, but also match the intensity if it's peak of the day and you're covering it a little bit with your phone, it does give you the ability to increase or decrease that intensity for the desired effect. Now that we possess 40 times of magnification in the palm of our hands, I took it out for a spin and I was able to capture these images. I am straight up blown away by the quality that I'm achieving on a smartphone. I have shown some of these images to friends and family and they assumed that I was using my Canon with the 100 millimeter lens, which opened up the door for a cool experiment. So I'm gonna bring two images up to the screen and you know, I'll give you a couple seconds to kind of guess which one is the Canon camera with uh, the macro lens and which one is the Sandmark microscope lens. You guessed it, the one on the right is the one captured on the Sandmark microscope lens. And it's mind blowing, it's truly impressive that we can get this level of fidelity using our smartphones. And the cool thing about this whole situation with the Sandmark case is just a matter of me being able to screw it on onto the one time uh, white lens, which is a 48 megapixel capable sensor. So we're definitely capturing a lot more detail, a lot better quality, um, even raw capabilities. So I can see how this powerful tool can be very useful for creators, entrepreneurs, business owners, 
Um, let's say you're a jeweler and you need to take pictures really close of jewelry, um, small trinkets, uh, necklaces, things like that, or maybe you're enthusiast on small things like insects, uh, rocks, or different kinds of minerals. This will give you the ability to get extremely, extremely closer. If we simply compare the macro camera most smartphones uh, versus the Sandmark microscope lens, it did there's just no contest. It is really cool that we can already on most smartphones capture some macro photography, but this just simply dials it up to 40 times. Now, when I'm thinking macro, I, I cannot unsee and now I don't want to shoot macro if I don't have this lens because now I know how good it can get. And yes, that was actually a real snowflake. And I even shot a video uh, because I had a lot of people asking me if this was AI generated. People are getting used to things that are not ordinary to be AI generated. But I wanna know what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them down there so we can continue to create relevant content for you. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and liking down below. All the links to all the Sandmar products are down in the description. And as always, thank you so much for spending your time with me. I'll catch you on the next one.